To begin, perform the appropriate surface preparation procedures. Identify any weld seams, voids, dents, cracks, or other uneven or rough areas and need a putty to create a smooth wrapping surface. For a clean application of all epoxy coatings, we recommend placing painter's tape directly outside either end of the repair area. Open the steel stick putty container, removing all plastic wrapping. Hand mix the steel stick putty, making sure to knead and incorporate all parts of the putty until it is one uniform color. This should take about a minute and a half. Take enough repair putty to fill the repair area and smooth the repair putty over the circumference of the pipe. Cure for a minimum of five minutes before applying the FRP211 HT saturant as a primer. The piece should provide a minimum of three layers around the circumference of the pipe plus six inches. If the pipe diameter is two inches or below, we recommend measuring and marking off three feet on a flat surface and cutting the carbon fiber to the required length. If the pipe diameter is above two inches, skip ahead to the next step and saturate all supplied carbon fiber fabric without cutting. Remove carbon fiber from the packaging. If cutting, roll to the pre-measured length. Cut any loose threads from the carbon fiber with scissors. You will receive two different pieces of carbon fiber in your repair kit, CF300BD and CF500BD. The CF300BD is smaller in width. For pipes less than two inches in diameter, roll out carbon fiber pieces to their pre-measured length and cut in a clean straight line across the width of the carbon fiber. Roll up the carbon fiber and store it to the side. We recommend pulling one or two crosswise threads using needle nose pliers from the carbon fiber to provide a visual cutting guide in the fabric. Open both Part A and Part B of the FRP211HT saturant, pour all of Part A into the Part B container, and mix for two minutes. Take one of the provided paint sticks and scrape the sides of the Part B container to the best of your ability. After scraping all of the material off the sides of the container and from the paint stick, mix for another two to three minutes. Prepare the paint tray and roller with a 1 4 inch nap. Measure the entire blasted repair area and apply blue painter's tape if desired directly outside of the section to be repaired. This will help ensure a clean application of the epoxy coatings. Apply FRP211HT saturant to repair area at 5 to 10 mils thick using the prepped roller while avoiding drips, sags, or holidays. Be sure to check the entire circumference of the pipe for an even application. Roll out the carbon fiber to a comfortable length and pour out the saturant directly onto the carbon fiber. Using a trowel applicator, spread the saturant evenly over the surface of the carbon fiber, ensuring that the entire surface area is covered, leaving no exposed dry spots. Apply light pressure and push the saturant into the carbon fiber threads in a smooth up and down motion. Remove the excess saturant from the carbon fiber by scraping it off and tapping it onto the table. For larger pieces of carbon fiber like the CF500BD, carefully flip over the fabric and lay it flat on the saturation table. Smooth out any air bubbles that may occur. Pour the saturant onto the carbon fiber and repeat the application process to saturate the other side of the fabric. Once excess saturant has been removed, carefully roll up the saturated carbon fiber, ensuring the edges are as straight as possible. Gently remove any loose threads from the edge of the fabric. Immediately after saturation, install the larger piece of carbon fiber labeled CF500BD over the designated pipe repair area. If possible, ensure that the pipe defect being repaired is centered on the wrap. Starting at the 12 o'clock position, 
wrap the saturated CF500BD around the pipe, pulling the fabric tight on each pass. Ensure that the edges of the wrap are lined up with each other. As you wrap, use your hands to massage the fabric against the pipe to remove air bubbles and ensure that the fabric lays flat against the pipe. Because there should be a minimum of six layers of carbon fiber, take the smaller piece of carbon fiber, labeled CF300BD, and center it over the repair area. Wrap in the same direction as the previous wrap, and apply the new fabric while massaging out any air bubbles. Continue to line up the edges with each other. Always make sure to massage the wrap in the same direction as you are wrapping for a tight application especially as the layers of carbon fiber increase. Allow carbon fiber to cure for 30 minutes. Open both Part A and Part B of the HP300 epoxy. Pour all of Part A into the Part B container and mix for two minutes. Take the paint stick and scrape all sides of the Part B container to the best of your ability. After scraping all material off the sides of the container and from the paint stick, mix for another two to three minutes until it is one uniform color. Prepare the paint tray and roller with 3 8 inch nap. Apply the HP300 epoxy top coat to the repair area at 10 to 20 mils using a roller. Be careful to avoid drips, sags, or holidays. Make sure the entire circumference of the pipe has an even application. The top coat should extend one inch past the CF500BD on both sides and onto the previously applied blue tape if applied. Remove the blue tape before the top coat cures to ensure clean lines if applied. Remember, spot repairs on pipelines are often an indication of systemic corrosion. Talk to an expert at Advanced FRP Systems to see how we can help repair systemic corrosion before leaks occur.